Hello my beautiful Aquarius, how are you today? I hope everyone's doing well. We're here for your message in a bottle love reading, the 4th of May. Uh, we will start, I'm starting June's readings uh, in the next few days. So let's take a look. Welcome back subscribers, welcome to all new visitors. Thank you for joining me. And um, my credentials are in the box below, as well as my contact information if you are seeking a personal reading and to enter the contest for a free phone reading with me, uh, you subscribe, like a video, and make a comment. Aquarius, not for you. What are you making a decision about? Now, this is a love reading. Messages from Spirit. And I will tell you, though, if I see anything else. If something else pops in, I will tell you. Take a nap. All right. Something that's not for you, you're just going to take a break from it. Exchanging gifts. Ooh, I haven't had that in a long time. How interesting is that? So let's see. Ver we have um, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with the lives of our Aquarius viewers. Hope everyone's well, staying safe, staying happy. Hope you're feeling secure. Let's see. So for Aquarius, what are the messages for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know for love? The sun card, the happiest card in the deck. Beautiful energy. That is a number 19. One and nine is 10, which is a new beginning also. That is Leo energy in the house. So some of you might be dealing with the Leo, Leo or you may have a Leo ascendant. Moon or Venus. Good. Let's see, Three of Swords, okay, so you're really tired of a situation in which you find yourself stymied because of outside influences. It could be another person, could be family, it could be situations, but you know, 50% of the time this is a third party situation, but the other 50% I find as a professional reader, it's oftentimes circumstances and that sort of thing. Okay, Six of Wands, you are determined to have a victory. Seven of Wands, I'm sorry. The six and seven look so close in this. This is defending your turf, so to speak. But you want a victory, obviously. Okay, this is beautiful. Leo energy again. So Leo's in the house twice here. You may be dealing with a Leo. You may be, and that is very passionate energy, ready to, to choose or strike when the iron's hot. As you can see, striking a lightning strike, really ready, really motivated. Here we go. We have Six of Swords moving away from something that you don't find suitable. Ten of Coins, legacy relationship. That's Virgo energy and the Six of Swords is our um, Aquarius energy. Aquarius, you're here. You know, you definitely want what's good. The Four of Swords energy is very, uh, feeling a lack of balance, feeling as though you need to heal. For some of you, that may be physical healing, okay? You might feel a little under the weather, but right now you need to rest and you need to take a nap, okay? So what do we see in terms of what's going on eight oh this is really interesting so i'm getting that for many of the aquarius i'm reading for you are going to walk away from a relationship or connection it could be it could be um you know you're leaving because there is either a third party and we'll clarify but it looks as though you are leaving a situation all right what is going on? Oh, beautiful outcome. Your hopes and dreams for love come true. You want a spiritual love. This is not for you, right? Not for you. And and you would love, this is, you love spiritual gifts, enchanting gifts. We will, <clears throat> we will also clarify those cards momentarily. But you really would like to have a traditional relationship in which you are very much a rock star very much hopes and dreams for love coming true, very much with someone who, this is Aquarius energy, so you are the rock star in your own life. So this is really, this is beautiful. It looks a little painful here. This looks painful. For some of you though, I don't necessarily think that this is because you have legacy love, 
you have the Sun card of great happiness. For many of the of the Aquarius I'm reading for, this could be a situational loss of a job. It could be wanting to leave a job, but you definitely have an emotional tie to something that is dragging you down that you don't want. Okay, Ten of Wands. Not for you, the burden of not for you. You've been carrying a burden for a long time. And what is not for you? What is for? Okay. Mother of Cups, not for you. You don't want anybody too fussy. You don't want anybody hanging over you, fussing over you. Mother of Cups energy is Cancerian energy. All right. Daughter of Cups, interesting. Okay. So Daughter of Cups energy could be a relationship with a mother-daughter. Um, there could be obstacles here in terms of a relationship. All right, so this could be a little bit of a family difficulty or feud, and you just don't involve yourself with it, okay? So for some of you, that will be how it resonates. For others of you, it'll just be a third-party situation, which you decide to leave. Could be circumstantial, but it could also be a family argument over your love interests, the Three of Cups. Yep, that's what I'm getting. Three threes. <coughs> Excuse me. Seasonal allergies, okay. Son of Pentacles means that you really want to be very, uh, very careful about how you do everything. You move slowly but steadily away from maybe a family argument that's been ongoing for some time. Uh, you may even be moving away. All right, so let's see what the time for a nap is. Oh, Nine of Cups, well naps make you happy. Whenever you have a big decision to make for the Aquarius, for Aquarius for whom, I'm, uh, whom I am reading, <clears throat> it looks as though when you have to make a huge decision with Scorpio energy, Plutonian energy, that you have a tendency to need to take a nap. Ten of Swords looks like a betrayal that you need to let go of by the Sun card. Why is the Sun card here? Oh, the Star card, look at you. Star, star. So what makes you happy is self-expression, but it's also spirituality, le leading a really nice spiritual life, having um, very Aquarius, that's you. Some of you may be about or on the border or bordering upon stardom of some sort. Um, you want some sort of traditional translation, but this is relationship. The hopes and dreams for love are coming true. You may decide to get married in the near future. The exchanging of gifts over here that we saw is, you know, you may exchange rings quite literally, you know, and it shows that you also may keep the relationship secret interesting seven of swords all right the five of pentacles shows that you feel, did feel left out in the cold in the recent past the magician card says that you know you're really keeping things to yourself the magician you're manifesting but you're not talking about it a lot I also get that you're tired of defending yourself. You're no longer going to defend yourself if somebody doesn't see it your way. You're okay. And Leo is in the house again. The strength card, you are standing by who you are. You're owning every bit of it. And you are using your intellect um, and this beautiful daughter of swords, you know, that is very strongly um, Sagittarius energy. So it really means that you are, excuse me, that's, that's Gemini energy. I said swords. Um, Gemini energy, you're very much defending the way you think, the way you act, what you do. This is really quite beautiful. You are manifesting after a lot of pain. You're growing. Let's see what the Father of Wands is about. Oh, a lot of fire energy. Look at that. We have the Six of Wands, a victory. You are about to strike and take action to get a victory. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why are you moving away? Ten of Coins, legacy relationship. Look at that. Ten of Coins, Ten of Coins. You are creating a legacy. You are creating a legacy, I feel, in love and in career. Why is the Ten of Coins here? 
Father of Pentacles. Beautiful. That's Taurus energy. That is energy that says, I want stability. I want, and the Hierophant is also Taurus energy. So it really is someone who is uh, helping you create this legacy. It's your own value system too. You really have the ability to manifest great abundance in your life. You have been juggling too. Let's see what you've been juggling. That can be, see the coins, that can be two jobs. It could be two lovers, but we'll see. I really feel as though you're juggling two different ambitions. Yes, son of wands, father of wands. So you have, it looks as though for whom I'm reading, you may have a, two career interests, one which is a passion, one which is not as fulfilling, but you do it for the money. The eight of the eight of cups you're leaving something behind oh beautiful energy to get something that will not pay as much because that was reversed but to find satisfaction in building something new and creative with all of this Aries look at that high priestess follow your intuition Aquarius you are on a roll here this is a fascinating story Aquarius what are you healing from why is that card here? Sadness. <clears throat> we saw sadness up here. We saw the five of pentacles. So for some of you, it looks as though you're leaving one relationship and it could be a relationship with a family member with whom you don't see eye to eye to follow your dreams, which you do see eye to eye with your family member. But the cards I'm getting here are indicating you're leaving strife. You're just leaving it all behind. You're just, you're like, nope, I'm done. Letting it go. The only shoulds that you're going to listen to Aquarius are the ones that you give yourself. You look at things from other people's uh, standpoint and then you choose to act decisively on your own. Yep. There we go. There's your Ace of Swords. Swift action. You know what your decision will be when the time comes. But for most of the Aquarius is for whom I'm reading, and I want to verify this with my Rider weight deck, is Aquarius what's happening in their career and what's happening in their love life. Because we have a very merged reading here. And, uh, okay, so what's going on? We're going to do a three-card spread for your work situation okay queen of cups i don't even know where to put this okay hold on queen of cups for work devil card yep energy of feeling really confined queen of swords okay so queen of cups is cancerian queen of swords is libran and the devil card is in in the middle so again i feel that that's what's going on here you're going to you want something that you really love for work capricorn energy and when the time is right you will cut a certain job loose so that you can follow your hopes and dreams for love and work look at this yep and here's your here's your work life in the future three of wands looking into the future you want something in which you have a journeyman status right now you're very good at it you want mastery it's something that you love now let's isolate your love life in this three of swords what is the three of swords here what is this relationship that aquarius is leaving behind spirit tell us something about this page of swords okay so it could be somebody who is uh you, it could be you spying two of swords nobody would see it coming the death card means that you'll bow out when the time is right the world card you are finished you want something on a grander scale all right well i'm going to continue to go with this line you are worried about the future. It, you know, this is a card of worry, staying up at night, Gemini energy. The Fool card is Aquarius energy again, leaving something that you've been toiling at for a very long time in terms of relationship. Something that's been going very slowly for you. And what? Let's, what, let's get some outcomes here. You have been a successful single person. You want to hold on to your coin more. You would like to be married, which is Hierophant, Hierophant. You'd like to be successfully married with that legacy of love. Nine of Cups, happiness is really important to you. So, but it does look like you're leaving. The Death card is a transformation. You're worried about it. You've toiled at something. 
you're going to use your intuition. Again, we have the High Priestess here. What are you manifesting? What the heck are you manifesting in relationship? You're going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and you are ready to blurt it out. The Ace of Coins, you want a new love offer. The Three of Swords, yeah, okay. So, uh, so this really does resonate. It looks like for the Aquariuses, at least, who are tuning in right now at this time, it looks as though you may have discovered and not yet revealed to a partner that you know that they have been less than faithful, at least emotionally. They have had contact. It just makes you want to pick up pick up and leave even. And it looks like you love this person really deeply, but it also looks as though you might not be on the same page. All right, Aquarius, that's your reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.